Niece is um, about to eat a Trinidad Maruga scorpion. Here's a picture of it. This is a Trinidad Maruga scorpion. She's only going to eat half of it. Um, she's 13 years old. I, I, I supervise her. Uh, I am her guardian, so I'm letting her eat one. Um, so here she goes. She's going to chew on it for 30 seconds and then spit it out. 30 seconds? Yes. Oh my god. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Go. Go. You just put it in and go. That's the only way to do it. Chew on it. Don't. It's you hot. You can't go like you got to chew on it. Go. Go. Chew. Oh, it's hot. Okay. You're not okay. going to. Okay. You, you got to just do it. One, two, three, go. Chew on it. Mm. Chew on it. <laughs> chew on it. Come on. Just keep chewing. Chew on it. Make it better. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Keep oh my chewing. God. Keep chewing. Keep oh chewing. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, spit it out. Okay, come in front of the camera. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Of course, she has some milk, but it doesn't help. Mm. Tastes good too, don't it? Mm. It's hot. Yeah, uh -uh. stay there and face the camera. Uh -uh. That's okay. Uh -uh. Let let the world see what a Trinidad Maruga can do. Mm -mm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it hotter than the purple one? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The worst picture I want to give you is when the car is not gonna get it. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, she chewed it up. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's hot, hot, hot. Is it getting hotter? Mm-hmm. It's going to. Mm. Just stay there the whole time. Because you didn't swallow it. Thank God you didn't swallow it because it would really hurt. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm good. Mm -hmm. You regret it? Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't take it away. You want to eat one of these? Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Stay there and let the world see. I told you one glass of milk. It's burning my under under my tongue. You'll be okay. Just know this, it's a plant. It's not you're not gonna die. Think. You'll be okay. At the very beginning of the shoe. It really burns on my under my tongue. I know. What we know as the So you chewed on it and held it. You held the juice under there. Don't talk, it's gonna hurt. It's very simple. Oh my god. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. What's the matter? You look like you're a little fluster. Whatever Moshe did at Mount you can watch your knees. Or I should say, Moses, Moses or Moshe, if you want to say it that way correctly, it's actually Oh my God, it hurts. We have the Sermon on the Mount, and then, of course, we have Yeshua mm -hmm. is now doing the good work in us. Never again. And good work in us. So well, you just ate the hottest so one in the world. So you ate the shoes ministry, even before mm -hmm. he taught his disciples. What we know is the Sermon on the Mount. He began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And I don't like drinking so milk like this, but it helps. The word repent in Hebrew is the you word shuv. What mm -hmm. he but he will make you do. It means an illustration in Hebrew. It means basically to turn on 180 mm -hmm. degrees and to begin to walk a different direction. It means to oh my God, it's hot. the Torah. I know. When God said mm -hmm. repent or shoe, the kingdom of God is at hand. Obviously, in Matthew oh 4, gosh. 17, he's the setting and the dramatized setting is he's coming out of the wilderness this experience. Isn't that right? He's coming out of the wilderness. And as he's coming out of the wilderness, Ow. what is happening is, is that my tongue. he <laughs> says this world famous statement in Matthew 4 17. Not Matthew 5 17, but Matthew 4 17. I need more milk. He says, Behold, there's a mystery about to be untold to you. For 
Oh my God, I can't hear me. Who can't even move my lips? I need more milk. Give me a second. So, uh, uh, I need more milk. Okay. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. You can feel the oil in your mouth, huh? Oh my God, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I can't, I can't, oh, I can't. It's hot. <coughs> I know this, honey, and I didn't tell you. What's the matter, honey? What do you need? I don't know, it hurt. There's no more. I can't, oh, I do it. It hurt. I know it does. Uh, uh, I didn't knock it. Where's the napkins at? Oh, uh, hurry, hurry. Oh my goodness. Why did you make me do that? I didn't make you. You said you wanted to. Oh my god, it's coming back. It hurts. Oh my god, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh, it looks weird. If they're not in step with one another, they pull each other and they actually work against each other and they get these large sores on the side of the animals. I grew up with a lot of horses and animals like mm -hmm. and, and you have to teach them how to walk step by step with each other. And seven, know, fifth, seven, seven twenty. And they actually, it defeats the purpose uh. of them being yoked together. God describes his kingdom in this manner. He says we are yoked together with God. And his burden is light. In other words, when you walk um, step by step with it God, stops and then it comes back and light. it hurts really bad. And God begins to show you and make, it gives you access to this kingdom through mm -hmm. the Torah, God's teaching and instruction. My and lips so are burning. Is, is that you that you gotta be thankful lost. you didn't need it with all the stuff in it. Uh, you are partnered with God. Uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a cattle ranching situation, you have what is called a partner. In other words, you have one animal yoked lip, here, lip, lip. one animal yoked here, and they have a yoke, they slide it down, and they have mm. what is called a hitch, and slide, it slides up the bottom of the animal to lock in the yoke itself like that. And they are done because you are partnering together. Mm. The reason why Jesus Christ spoke so much about... I can't believe I drank all that milk, it's nasty. To know that you yeah, must mm. Stuff's that hot, you ain't got no choice, do you? And when we walk, my lips are burning. My God, it's not strong. We're walking in a kingdom that has oh a God. easy yoke. But when we walk in our own kingdom, we write our own Torah. Oh my God. Then we are walking against, and we are talking against what God has for us. Can I get a witness? Amen. And so God wants us to enter into this covenant. My tongue is burning really fast. Yeah, it will. It'll feel like it's really big. This animal unhappy divides it right in half. And as he divides it right in half, no one you can walk between the pieces. Mm -hmm. He is, isn't that right? And when he walked nope. between the pieces, he said, uh -huh. I feel like my he lips said, are like I, <laughs> really big. I, you are the vassal. You're the weaker of the parties. But he's the supreme of the two parties. It's not yeah, running down her mouth. Exactly whatever he needs to do to him. Is yours and what's yours is his. Some of you know you didn't have a whole lot to give God. You know, you know, you know, you know, I got that revelation later on in my life. Is that right? Amen? Because I thought it was God. You know what I'm saying? But. I couldn't get her to eat one of these. This is a Carolina Reaper, which is now going to be the next hottest pepper in the world, hotter than the one that she ate. I'm not touching that one. And, uh, and we also have the chocolate Maruga, Trinidad Maruga. It's a new species. 
um, it's working out. It's coming out really good. They're really big pods, very heavy pods, very bumpy looking, but uh, tomorrow we're going to eat some more of these at our 4th of July party with some of the younger kids, and we'll videotape it for you. Oh, my lips. I just, I love the tail on these Carolina Reapers, man. They look really mean. Oh my gosh. Are these peppers harder than the one Dust ate? Oh, yeah. There was a sacrificial system that was put in place. Yeshua with Jesus, but bear with me, replaced the sacrificial system of the words mm. offering, the peace offering, the Thanksgiving offering, the meal offering, all of those offerings, he replaced that system. And because he replaced that system, and he did that for us, mm -mm. what happened was the high priest of the Kohen Gadol, at the end of his slaughtering of an animal, he would go like this. All right. After the last My lips are still burning. was slaughtered at Pesach or Passover, he would go like this, and he would say, it is finished. Can I get a witness? My stomach hurts now so from all that up. milk. When he went to Sorry, the cross, milk's good for your stomach. stomach. It's going to coat your stomach. It is finished. Yeah. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the words offering, the peace offering, the thanksgiving offering, the meal offering, all of these offerings are divided in a book of Psalms. There's cha chapters, there's a section of the, each one of the chapters, and as I stated to you before, it cools now and it gets section, right back up. Yeah, it can go back and forth. It covers our sin. Uh, I need to save a couple of these for tomorrow. And in Psalms 22, verse 1, how many know there's 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet? The number 22 has great significance, okay? And so, when Yeshua is on the cross, he says, My God, my God, why art thou forsaken me? Now, he wasn't talking to a separate God in heaven, because he is doing the Avah in the flesh. What he was doing is, he was doing a thing called Romanus. Can you say that with me? Romanus. Romanus is spelled R-E-M-E-Z. Romanus. Now, I'm not going to get anything difficult. I'm going to teach you that later. But I want to, I want to share that with you. Meaning he was going to back to something, yeah. to move forward to a principle he was going to try to teach you forward on. Oh my goodness. And the methodology of what he was doing is when he said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? He was quoting the prophet David <sighs> in Psalms 22.1. Because all the Jews that were around him, below him on the cross, were, would be able to say, ah, oh, that's what the prophet David was speaking about. He said, look for the man. Because there's going to be many messiahs or claim, people claiming to be the messiah in the last days. But how you will know that he is truly the Mashiach, the messiah, you'll hear him say oh, these my words. My stomach my hurts now. Well, it's all right. It's okay. And so, of course, my the tongue's time not the stopped time, burning. They were not going to have a cake all the time. Jesus didn't have cake They didn't have Bibles. They didn't have, I'm going to have a cake James version. And that praise God. Yeah. But they did it by memory, by memorization of the Tanakh. And they knew what the Psalms were saying. And so when he said that, my God, my God, my God, for the sake of me, every Jew will all do. He is the Messiah. He is the one. He is the Mashiach. Now get this. And yet, they knew if he was truly the Mashiach, and according to the prophets, three days and three days, three days and three nights later, he was raised from the dead. Uh, How many know that gives them a good spot? So we can that? How many know that the man died on the cross? <laughs> Are you feeling better? A little bit. All right, you can stop it. He was gonna Just say something. No. Say something. Like what? Oh. It's hot. Yeah. He was gonna replace Don't try this at home.